Hi, my name is Mike Upton. This is my wife, Kim. We are the elder couple for The Turning Point, here to leave you with a few brief thoughts. Our country has been roiling under the uh, pandemic, certainly, but the blatant murders of George Floyd and uh, Ahmaud Arbery, uh, it's caused great and profound sadness for so many of us. Outrage, uh, so many emotions of grief. Uh, Ecclesiastes 3, 4 says, There is a time to mourn and a time to dance. There is a time to weep and a time to laugh. And these are certainly times of weeping and mourning for what it says about who we are as a country. Uh, it was just a couple of days ago that we were celebrating Memorial Day, where we think about the, the huge sacrifices of life uh, that have been given by the men and women through the centuries for the American way, for the ideals that our country was founded upon. All men are created equal. There is equal justice for all. Uh, that we have democratic values, that the majority rules, but the rights of the minority are protected. And yet the events of these last few days and months, co coupled with the events that have been similar in many ways uh, of the last couple of years, make us pause and just wonder where is our country really at and how far we have to go to live out these very ideals. And I myself can wrestle in being a white woman with really being able to understand how my African-American friends feel on a day-to-day -day basis, honestly. And Mike and I have raised four children, um, and I can remember as each of them got their driver's license and drove away, I stood by the window and prayed for them, praying that they would come home safely and, you know, just keep them safe. And I have a friend of mine who also raised four children, and she is African American. And I realized, wow, in speaking with her, she said, sometimes when my kids leave for the night, I pray for them to come back alive. And that's, that's a painful comparison. I have, those thoughts have never gone through my mind in the way that she, she thinks they could be accosted, they could be arrested unjustly. All the thoughts that she has, I don't have. And yet, we are connected. We're connected in our friendship. We're connected as moms. We're connected as wives. We're connected by heart. We're connected through our bond with Christ. And I love how Jesus connects all the time with hearts. And I'm, I think about John chapter four, where Jesus had come into the region of Samaria. And at that time, Jews and Samaritans hated each other. A Jew would purposefully travel around the region to get to where he had to get to on the other side, instead of going through it, because by going through, they could be murdered or robbed. And so even the Samaritan woman at the well just was asking Jesus, what are you doing here? <laughs> and Jesus didn't care. Jesus didn't care that she was a Samaritan. Jesus asked her for a cup of water from a Samaritan well. He was going to share a cup that a Samaritan had drunk from, and he didn't care. He spoke with this woman who at the time, uh, men and women really didn't have conversation, but Jesus got into her heart, into her life, and being the savior of the world, he forgave her sin. And I, I think about that with hope, that I too can look past any exterior that is put up in front of me. I can connect with someone's heart 
And in 1 Samuel chapter 16, I'm reminded of the scripture that it says, man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And I wanna follow the example of my Lord and Savior and look into people's hearts, not at their exterior. And certainly Jesus saw that she was a woman and Jewish men didn't talk to women uh, in public that they didn't know. Mm -hmm. He saw that she was a Samaritan. So we see the differences in each other and yet we don't see the divide that can be there as well. Mm -hmm. I think we see how far we have to go to live out this American dream. Uh, and yet it takes one step at a time. So what steps do we need to start to take to get to a better place? And I believe it's engaging with each other, walking beside each other, dialoguing and caring about each other's perspectives and our desire to get to that better place together. Thank you for listening.